What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Beat Dead. I'm back with more Fate Grand Order. Time to continue Salem the Fifth Knot. A story only quest. That's only one arrow. Is it my birthday? Please don't be an hour long. The 30 minutes. Okay, that's fine. Please don't be an hour long. Please don't be, like, ridiculously fucking long. Get your plot out of the way. Do the next, because it's like, the next the next two parts are just one arrow, so I'm just like, oh god, they're going to be, like, fucking long, aren't they? Dawn. Villager's house. Bedroom. Sleeping. Father? Crying. That's not good. I don't know how to pronounce that. That's why I'm not saying it. Holy shit. Only one left. Then the ultimate gate will open. Wonderful. He has already begun his descent within the depths of your mind. Well done, Watley. Soon, very soon now, only one left. Morning, villager's house. Salem, day six. I see. That would make me quite the liar, indeed. I appreciate your show of trust in sharing this with me, but frankly, what you're saying is preposterous. We can't trust what we perceive with this within this special within this space. Reality itself is being distorted. This discussion is over. I feel crazier with every word I listen to from you. If this is your way of rehearsing for one of your plays, then leave me out of it. You're telling me the year in the outside world is 2019, that everything here in Salem is artificial? I suppose the Harvard Divinity School where I teach, the soldiers I brought back, and even Boston itself doesn't exist either then? Ridiculous. I have never heard anything so completely absurd in all my life. That is exactly my response every time I take a dive into the uh, Fate Wiki. What about all the monsters? I admit that things have happened here that seem to defy explanation. And yes, there are the monsters. But those are only oddities when viewed through the lens of British common sense. This is a pious land, so nobody talks about this. Indeed, most simply try to put it out most simply try to put it out of their minds. But the fact is, there is not just one single god in our world. Everyone knows that. I have lived among people of different countries in order to study these other gods. I also know that the Indians here worship their own strange and suspicious gods. I have seen a statue of a grotesque, obese goddess that was worshipped by a dark cult during the Qing Dynasty. There are dreadful beings in ancient civilizations, this mysterious new world, and tombs buried under desert sand. Horrible, unspeakable things that exist in the vastness of the cosmos to whom humanity is so insignificant as to be beneath even their consideration. Hmm, that doesn't sound like it's foreshadowing for anything. Lady Zanaki, you hail from the Orient, if I'm not mistaken. Perhaps you have heard of the esoteric religion that worships the dragon god that dwells in a seabed palace? You mean Al Gawang? I thought it was Kuwang. Eh, whatever. The Dragon King of the East Asia. Not that tough. Oh, uh -huh, you're talking about the Great Sea Beast, the SETI. They've got great toxin, but you can't get it anymore now that they're all petrified. What I wouldn't give for another batch. Yeah, would you two shut up? I'm used to hearing criticism from my fellow ac academics, and I do not mind if you think me a liar. But I won't have you filling Abigail's innocent mind with nonsense and madness. It's time you learn the difference between fantasy and reality. Where are Abby's parents' graves? 
What's this all of a sudden? That's right, and there's the ghouls too. I've been wondering about the Will... Williams resting place as well. Mr. Carter, I checked the town graveyard and neither your sister nor her husband were buried there. Abby didn't say anything about them either. That's because they don't have graves. Their bodies were never found, I'm afraid. I heard that sometimes something belonging to the deceased is buried in their stead if a body cannot be recovered, but you didn't do that either. Abigail seems to think that her parents were eaten by cannibals. What? Native Americans would never treat the dead like that. I've never seen evidence of that either, but this is the new world. Anything may happen here. Even now, my niece has nightmares about it. Lost corpses. Ghouls. Who was the last one to see them alive? Abigail herself. Thank goodness she survived the attack. What a horrible tragedy. Yes, it is. I still cannot begin to understand why my niece would deserve such horror in her life. Man, oh man, I've never seen such a thick fog before. Even managed to soak through my cloak. Hey, Ringmaster, can I talk to you for a sec? <laughs> you mean outside? No, in here, you jackass. Where do you think? Matahari's been scouting things out here, and she just sent us a message. There's been more hangings. One last night and one before dawn today. Who do they execute? The instigators of last night's riot, apparently. Word has it they were an unpleasant bunch who were always going around fanning the flames of unrest. Or at least that's the official story now. They say these guys were sending ghosts after them, that they'd been possessed by the devil, and that they in uh, intentionally ingested the uh, instigated the riot last night. But really, they're just using this as an opportunity to get rid of people they never liked, or ones they were fighting with over property rights and such. And not only that, <laughs> Those sailors we met at the harbor were among the condemned. They say they killed the tavern owner just to get out of paying their tab. I can't be right. You said it. They were good guys. They didn't deserve this. This is bad. I can't tell what's real and what's fake anymore. If this is all part of some f of our forced incarnation, maybe I've got no choice but to die too, like the Queen of Sheba did. No. Yeah, sorry about that. I've been debating whether I should tell you this, but... Matahari suggested assassinating Carter as a possible way out of this mess. For my part, I keep saying we need to do something about Hopkins ASAP. But Matahari is apparently much more worried about Carter. What will the Queen of Sheba think? Don't know, she refused to comment. She at least give a reason? Nope, she wouldn't say anything. Rather, I don't think she could say anything. Think about it. She can see what's going to happen in the future. Matahari confirmed as much, but... Even though she knew about the Demon God Pillar, she still couldn't use that to her advantage here in Salem. Her role as Tichiba may have limited what she could do, but she still should have been able to do something. We know she exerts a lot of influence just by existing. Maybe that was the trap all along. I mean, if she really was a threat to the Demon God Pillar, it wouldn't have just... It wouldn't have given her a role at all. So what I'm getting at here is, this is a heretical land filled with blasphemies and apostates. A place where even attempting to help only makes things worse, more twisted. A land forsaken by God, where prayers just tumble out into an empty abyss. <laughs> a heretical land, her heretical land, whatever. Yep, even the best of intentions backfire here. All they seem to get you is a noose around your neck. How can I be sure, you ask? Well, it's not like I firmly belong to any one part of history. As a servant, I'm basically just an actor with a personality made up of a bunch of different parts. But thanks to that, it's easier for me to step back and see the big picture that is for pretty much anyone... Uh, ...than it is for pretty much anyone else. I'm still kind of guessing here, but... I think if we ended up losing our cool and resorting to violence to try and get this mess sorted out quickly... ...the Foundation propping up this fiction might crumble. It would wreck the whole plot, I guess. And I think the more crimes we rack up, the more power it might give the pillar. And if that's how it is, all we can do is go along with whatever he's got in mind for us, while we try to figure out how to art-smart him. 
so how do we do that? I guess you could put it that way. I don't want to give the writers too much credit here for putting this all together, but that might not be a bad way to go about it. Senpai, is Abby with you? The rabbit Robin caught for us wasn't in its cage. I think it must have gotten out. I've still got to drain the blood before we can eat it. Oh, whoops. I didn't realize I'd been go going on for this long. Anyway, I didn't see anything here. Maybe the rabbit tunneled out? Robin, you were slacking on lookout. The fog is so thick today, I can't help but worry. I have to hurry to our secret place and remember the spell that Venia taught me. Please settle down. I can't do this without you. Oh, thank goodness. The monsters haven't been here. Two, four, six. Good. The stones we used for a six-sided star are just like we left them. Okay, I've got a silver knife, rope for binding, and... Here it is, my precious book of Ebon. It's all muddy from that storm. Soot Typhon, Soot Typhon. Thou art a sinner, thou art the sixth knot. In this fertile land across the sea, the harvest we seek is our greatest pleasure. Here are prayers. Thou art a sinner, thou art the sixth knot. Our Father who art in heaven, let me speak thy name. Forgive the people of Salem their sins. Save the sinners who have lost their way. Please, I beg you, please save this village. Please make it so Lavinia can smile and laugh, and the travelers can find solace. And one day, I hope you will relieve us of our suffering. But if our suffering should still continue, please... Please take me away from here. I don't care where I go, as long as it isn't here. Please, God. Don't move. Do not dare to try to conceal the evidence of your guilt. Not, li not least that bloody knife. Abigail Williams, you are under arrest. No, please, you have the wrong idea. Abby... So it really is you. Stanson, not you too. How did you find me? This was our secret place. Nobody else knew about it. Your Honor, Judge Hopkins, please let me handle this. This is no satanic ritual. This is a child's poor way of playing house. It requires no more than a harsh admo ad ad admonition? Not like words. Out of the question. Move aside, Sanson. Please, Your Honor. This girl has knowledge acquired from Tichiba, and she is holding the Book of Heresy for all to see. I do not choose who the devil may possess. Indeed, he may possess anyone at all. She can make her excuses from a prison cell. I will question her however I must until she confesses her vile sins, no matter how long it takes. I and I alone shall determine whether or not she is a witch. His honor hasn't slept at all for the past few days. Just yesterday, he was up all night with some sort of horrible instrument. It's okay, Abigail. Just stay calm. I promise I won't let them take you away. No, stay back. Don't come near me. She just pointed her knife at his honor. Restrain her. What was that? Your... My knife! Hopkins! You... You're the Watley! <laughs> Good riddance. Wow, oh, that is terrifying. Did her horn get bigger? Up, Kens. 
You, you killed my, my grandfather. You killed him. Get away from his honor, you. She bit me. It hurts, doesn't it? This, this is the same rope that broke grandfather's neck. Damn it, how can she be this strong? Hear me now, our father who art in heaven. I offer up this wicked man's life and sacrifice. La la. Yegra nyegra. I don't fucking speak that. Nigai ngaso gafetefet. More chanting. Oh, look, words I can pronounce. Yog soft so so thoth. I knew that's a name. His honor's Aredas or oh, Aorta has been severed. There's nothing more we can do for him. This is horrendous. I can't believe a child could do such a thing. It's it's the devil, cursed witch. Throw down your knife or I'll shoot. Lavinia! Don't come near me. You'll get blood in your hair. I don't care about... I told you, remember? I'm leaving Salem. I don't care what happens to this village. I hope all sinners get what they deserve. All right, witch, you're coming with us. If you refuse, I'll open fire. I'm not refusing. If you want to shoot me, then shoot me right here. Right. Now. If Hopkins' life isn't enough, then finish the ritual with mine. No, don't! Lavinia, run! Get out of here! Get away from this cursed land! I'm the one who taught Abigail the ritual of descent. This is all my fault. So go ahead. Kill me. Lavinia... Damn it, help us, Sanson. You there, get his honor's bod. What are you doing, Sanson? I'm sorry. Huh? Sanson, are you turning traitor on us? Yes, I am. Run away, Lavinia, it's not too late. You, you really are an idiot. <laughs> <laughs>